Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel and in today's video I'm going to be using these stamp markers to see if I can create some decent art with them but first I'm going to swatch them so I just need to take my glasses off and we have a red one which is like an aeroplane but it kind of looks like a peace sign if you press a bit too hard which is kind of cool and a green flower there we go and a pink paw print although it's kind of a bit like a heart with a little bits of dashes on and a neon yellow sunshine and a blue star here and I'm running out of room so I might have to stop swatching now but yeah these are really really cool shapes just just kidding I do know that you shouldn't swatch art supplies on your face that was me just getting a cool image for the thumbnail being a bit more serious we have a variety of different colors and shapes and I'm just stamping them on paper and the, my favourite, I think, is the little the little seal with the little ball on its nose. I think that is adorable. But yeah, I was really impressed with these pens. They're quite juicy and they also have a normal tip as well. So let's see what we can create with them. So again, I'm drawing my art on paper because that is the best place to draw art. Not always, but in this case it is and I am doing a lizard because I thought that would work really well with the texture that these pens would give because the, I would be layering them up on top of each other to create depth and I thought that would give a nice scaly texture so I thought why not do a lizard so I sketched it out with pencil first and then went straight in with the pens and just did quite a lot of stamping it was a little bit like pointillism if you like but with stamps so a bit of a bigger dot than normal pointillism and not quite dots but if you see what I mean it's just building up the layers starting with the lighter layers first the lighter colors just to block out where they were and then adding the darker colors on top as well I'm just using the blue one with the seal so we have quite a lot of seals going on at the moment and then going over the top with the yellow to add more highlights and just layering up and layering up and what I quite liked about the neon yellow is it mixed quite well with the red to get an orange because red and yellow do make orange. That's a bit of color theory for you there. <laughs> These pens did work really well and they were super juicy. I was really surprised and I was surprised at how well you could see the stamps as well because sometimes you get these pens and they don't work that well because they are gimmicky. They're not really meant to make decent pieces of art like this. I guess they're meant for just stamping on your diaries or stamping on your work. But no, I was really impressed with these and they worked really well and they were really nice colours. And as I went along, I added the outline with a black fine liner and a white gel pen just to highlight some of the scales. I know that might be cheating, but I think it needed it a little bit just to kind of get that definition of the scales. And once I had done some of the outlines, I went back in with the stamp markers just to define these areas a bit more and define the darker areas. And I think that worked really well, rather than just doing the whole outline first or at the end, I just kind of did it as I went along and as I liked. So now I am just using the purple foot to, to emphasize the wrinkles of the beard. And I think this is a bearded dragon. I think it's more of a bearded dragon than a lizard because it has a nice wrinkly beard, bit of a lockdown beard going down there. And I'm just adding the purple again around the scales that I've already outlined just to make it that little bit darker. I didn't use the black, although the black was a cat and it was a really cute little stamp. I didn't use that apart from in the eye and you can't really see that. So that's a bit sad, but I'm definitely gonna be using these stamps again. I'm gonna be keeping them to just stamp anything that I can really, because they're just really fun. Probably won't be stamping my face again though. Probably, probably not. But yeah, if you're new here, welcome. My name is Katie. I make art videos. I do challenges, a bit like this one. I have quite a few challenges, so I'll leave a playlist up above and down below so you can go and check that out if you're interested. And I do speed paints, quite a wide variety of art videos. And yeah, so just go and take a look around if you like this video and you want to see more. I have my own mouse character as well called Charlie. Go and have a look for him if you want to know who he is. And yeah, if you like this video, you know emotionally, do leave it a like down below as that really helps me out. Give it your stamp of approval. Yes, yes, I went there. And yeah, he is coming together now. The lizard is really coming together and I'm just going over again with the yellow, neon yellow, just to, just to bring out those highlights. And for the background, I decided to use the other end of the markers because these markers have another end because they are dual tip markers. And I just made a watercolour like background by 
adding water because water-based markers break down with water. And I'm just doing that now and just kind of mixing it in. And this what broke down really well with water actually. I was quite surprised because sometimes cheap markers don't break down so well with water. But this one did. These ones did. So that was good. And I also got the end of the pen and added some water to it and then did the splatter effect, which you'll see in the moment. There we go. I'm just kind of bashing the brush to get the splatter effect and... I think that worked quite well. It was quite effective in hiding some of the some of the bad blending that was going on. And I also used the stamp part of the pen as well, just to make it clear that it was a stamp art because you can't always see the patterns of the stamps in this lizard. But yeah, I think it worked really well. And again, I used the neon color, the neon yellow, to bring out, bring out the highlights and just bring out the boldness of this piece. I went around the lizard himself with the neon yellow. To be honest, I just had fun making a bit of a mess in the background because I didn't really know what to do with the background, but I think it turned out really well. And here is the final result. As you can see, you can see some of the patterns, especially the flower, the green flower stamp, but you can't see all of them. But I don't really think that matters because I didn't really want it to look like it was a lot of stamps. But it's one of those things where if you look closely, you can see all the textures. But that is all for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. A bit of a bit of a weird one, but I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.